Antarctica, the frozen continent, the last great wilderness on Earth. But this frozen wasteland wasn't always ice. 90 million years ago, it was a world of green forests, warm rivers, and impossible life. This was the age of giants, creatures so immense they stretched 30 meters from head to tail, walking mountains of flesh and bone, giants that grazed beneath the southern lights. But they weren't alone. In the shadows lurked predators, hunters with crests of bone and feathers, eyes that saw through the endless polar twilight. What kept this polar paradise alive? Fire, volcanoes that never slept, their molten rivers carved through ice and stone, breathing warmth into a land that should have been dead, and life flourished. Herds of giants migrated through valleys of green, pterosaurs soared above steaming vents, a paradise caught between fire and ice. This was the bottom of the world. For six months, the sun never set. For six more, total darkness, but life adapted. Predators hunted beneath auroras that danced like fire in the frozen sky. Then something changed. The volcanoes, one by one, fell silent. The warmth that sustained this world began to fade, and with it came the snow. The cold came fast, merciless, final. Within centuries, the forests died. The giants starved. One by one, they fell, and the ice swallowed everything. For 90 million years, they slept, buried beneath kilometers of ice, their bones crushed by the weight of time itself. A lost world, forgotten, until now. A brush against ancient stone, frozen bone that hasn't seen sunlight in 90 million years. And with each stroke, the past awakens. Their bones tell stories of giants that ruled a green Antarctica, of fire and ice dancing together, of life where none should exist, and a warning from the past. This is Antarctica's lost world, a place that thrived and died and might teach us how to survive.